So this is the continuation for the lesson for the mold concept. So today we will try to identify the mass of the um, of the substance given their number of formula units or the number of moles. Or we could do this the other way around. So so let's have an example. So we would like to know the number of moles given the mass of the substance okay so from mass to moles okay so when we are dealing with the um, conversion from mass to moles so we will be needing the molar mass of the substance okay so the molar mass of the substance is given by the grams per mole unit okay so of course we should also uh, first identify what type of substance we have okay so we would like this to con uh, convert this to um, chemical formula in order for us to find the appropriate molar mass so oxygen gas is O2 okay so First, uh, identify the molar mass of O2. So, there are only one element. And this one element oxygen has two atoms in one oxygen gas. Multiply by the uh, mass number. So, based on the periodic table, the mass number is 16 grams. Okay. So, this will be 32 grams per mole. Okay. So, now we'll try to convert this using dimensional analysis. So, we have 18 grams multiplied by the conversion factor which is 32 grams. We will be placing 32 grams at the denominator because this is the unit that we would like to cancel out, the unit grams. Okay, so for every 32 grams, there will be 1 mole. Okay. So, canceling uh, similar units, so this will leave us mole unit. So, 18, 18 divided by 32, the answer will be 0 0.56 moles. Okay? So, next one is the number of molecules given the mass of the oxygen gas. So, from the mass, convert this one to number of molecules okay so this is the formula unit molecules is a formula unit so with this we should take uh, we should have a plan so first the mass should be converted first to number of moles and from number of moles we could arrive to the number of molecules okay for mass to moles Again, we'll be needing the molar mass. And from moles to molecules, we will be needing the Avogadro's number. Okay, so this will be the factors that we will be needing. Okay, so for 18 grams, so we'll have here the molar mass. So there is 32 grams. We already sh shown this how we got the molar mass of oxygen gas 1 mole so this will leave us the unit mole okay so we will be placing mole at the, denomin at the de denominator and the numerator will be having the number of molecules and as we already discussed from, for every 1 mole there is 6.02 times 10 raised to 23 number of formula units and again this is consistent at all substances so if you be having an atom from one mole of that atom there are 6.02 times 10 raised to 23 atoms okay so cancel the similar units this will leave us the number of molecules so the answer will be Three point 
3.39 times 10 raised to 23 molecules. Okay? So, let's have another example. Mass of 3 moles of sodium bicarbonate. So, we'll be converting moles to mass. In order for us to arrive to the mass, we should um, have the molar mass factor here. So, first we should get the molar mass of sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate is NaHCO3. So, Na is, there are one only Na. For hydrogen, there is one atom of hydrogen in this molecule. For carbon, there is only one. And for oxygen, there are three. Okay? So, using your periodic table, we could find the mass number. So, the sodium is 23, hydrogen is 1, carbon is 12, and oxygen is 16. So, adding all the products, so this will give us eighty four grams per moles. Okay, so we have three moles as given, so we will be having eighty four grams at the top and one mole at the bottom so cancel the similar units so 84 grams multiplied by 3 which is equal to 252 grams so it means that the 3 moles of sodium bicarbonate is equal to 252 grams so let's get the number of molecules of 3 moles of sodium bicarbonate so from moles we should get the number of molecules and again to find the number of molecules we will be needing the Avogadro's number so this is three moles and we would like to place the moles at the denominator position molecules at the top position and for every one mole there are 6.02 times 10 raised to 23 molecules okay so this is equal to 1.806 times 10 raised to 24 molecules okay the, mo the unit is molecules as you can see we cancelled out moles here okay Okay, so mass of 1.14 times 10 raised to 14 hydrogen gas molecules. So we are given the number of molecules and we would like to find the mass. Okay, so we should get a plan here. Okay, so in order to find the number of molecules, We should get first convert molecules to moles and for moles you should con you can convert it to mass okay so from molecules to moles you you will be needing the avogadro's number and from moles to mass you will be needing the molar mass okay and the molar mass of hydrogen gas is this hydrogen gas is h2 so this will be h so this will be there are two atoms of hydrogen in this molecule multiply by the mass number which is one so this is equal to two okay two grams per mole so two grams per mole here grams per mole. okay so there are 1.4 times 10 raised to 14 molecules Okay, so the first factor here will be molecules and moles. Okay, so for every one mole, there are 6.02 times 10 raised to 23. Okay, 
one mole will be having 6.02 times 10 raised to 23 molecules so if we cancel out these molecules this will leave a small unit and from all we could convert it to mass okay so from with um, ma mole to mass we will be needing the molar mass okay so we will be placing the mole unit at the denominator for them to be cancelled out and the gram unit at the numerator so two grams in every one mole okay cancel similar units so this will give us four point sixty five times ten raised to negative ten grams okay so very small uh, around uh, a nanogram okay so I think uh, around point zero four nine nanogram okay so that is the mass of one point four times ten raised to fourteen hydrogen gas molecules okay so examining these values as you could see um, the number of molecules is around 140 trillion molecules yet despite the number of those molecules we, we only arrive to a very few amount of mass okay so apparently the mass is um, very small still okay so we have 12 milligram of chlorine gas so from the mass we would like to num find the number of atoms okay so uh, atoms is also a formula unit okay so from mass we should convert it to moles and from moles we could convert it to atoms okay so mass to moles you will you will be needing the molar mass from moles to atoms you will be needing the avogadro's number okay so 12 milligram so we don't want to have this milligram unit we would like it as much as possible to be in grams so 12 milligrams is equal to point um 0 0.12 grams okay other than that the molar mass of chlorine gas so checking your chlorine gas is Cl2 so checking your periodic table there are two atoms of chlorine present the periodic table shows that the mass number of chlorine is 35.5 so this will give us 71 grams per mole okay so we we will be needing this one later so from the given mass to moles first so 0 0.012 grams times we will be placing grams unit here and mole at the top part so in, uh, in one mole the mass is 71 grams okay and multiply by the from moles to atoms in every one mole there are 6.02 times 10 raised to 23 atoms so this is our Avogadro's number okay so cancel similar units grams grams moles moles so This will give us 1.02 times 10 raised to 23 atoms. So there are a lot of atoms here. Okay. Apparently, I should not use atoms here. This should be molecules. No, it should be molecules. And also, this will be molecules because chlorine gas is a molecule. Okay, so my error here. So molecules. 
also here should be molecules so the answer is 1.02 times 10 raised to 23 molecules of chlorine gas okay number of molecules in 500 milligram ferrous sulfate so let's check the the um, number of molecules in a 500 milligram ferrous sulfate okay so milligram 500 milligram is equal to 0.5 gra 500 grams okay other than that ferrous sulfate is feso4 so we would like to find the molar mass here fe is checking your periodic table F iron has a mass number of 55.8 sulfur is 32 and oxygen is 16 so the sum of all the products is equal to 159.5 grams per mole okay so let's have a plan here so molecules to moles i'm sorry this should be mass mass to moles to molecules okay so mass to moles mass molar mass moles to molecules is avogadro's number okay so mass to moles so we have 0.500 grams times mass to moles should be molar mass so this will be um, 1 mole over 151.8 grams times uh, moles here 1 mole and every 1 mole there are 6.02 times 10 raised to 23 molecules okay so 0.5 the answer will be 1.98 times 10 raised to 21 molecules okay so the unit will be molecules so we should cancel um, similar units here okay so another example so number of oxygen atoms in 500 milligram ferrous sulfate so we will be having this kind of um, question okay so I think I should copy the previous solution because there will be no problem with it so we have the same um, questions so it just so happened the goal is to find the number of oxygen atoms okay so so we should uh, analyze the question okay so number of oxygen atoms in ferrous sulfate so in one molecule molecule of ferrous sulfate FeSO4 we should identify how many atoms of oxygen and as you could see the chemical formula tells the answer that the one molecule of ferrous sulfate there are four atoms of oxygen okay so so based on our plan so from the given mass we should convert it to moles and we should convert it to molecules then we could find the number of atoms of the specific element okay so as you could see this 0.500 gram will be multiplied by the molar mass this will give us the number of moles of point of 500 milligram ferrous sulfate further multiplying it with the avogadro's factor this will give us the number of molecules of the 
500 mg of ferrous sulfate. So, the number of ferrous sulfate molecules. And, by multiplying this, as we already examined, that the one molecule of ferrous sulfate, there are four atoms of oxygen. Okay? So, the subscript tells us that there are four atoms of oxygen. Okay, so... Multiplying your previous answer by 4, this will give us 7.93 times 10 raised to 21 atoms of oxygen. Okay, so this is our answer. Okay, so as you can see, we cancel out similar units. The only unit that left is atoms of oxygen. Okay. So let's have um, a word problem. So an example here. So an Imperador brandy is contains thirty six percent ethanol by volume. Okay. So there is a lot of alcohol present on this brandy. So so let's answer the questions okay so package in a 750 ml glass bottle how much is the ethanol okay so the question already told us that they there are 36 percent of ethanol by volume meaning to say if you have 100 ml of um, that brandy we ha we will be having 36 ml of ethanol present since we have 750 ml of brandy 36% of it will be ethanol. So, we should go multiply this one by 36.36. Turns out there are 270 ml of ethanol. Okay? So, 270 ml is ethanol. Okay, so now we would like to identify the mass in grams. Okay, so given the volume, we would like to identify the mass of gra in grams of ethanol present. So we would like to convert volume to mass. Okay. Okay, so... With this, um, we will be needing the density. Okay, so the volume is 270 ml of ethanol multiplied by the density. Okay, so the density is 0.798 grams in every 1 ml. Okay, so this is the correct uh, appropriate placement of units. So we could cancel ml here and will leave as grams as the unit okay so this is 215.46 grams okay so how many moles of ethanol is present so mass to moles okay so mass to moles so we will be needing the molar mass ethanol is c2 h5oh okay so there are two atoms of carbon hydrogen has five plus one is six and oxygen has only one checking your periodic table carbon is 12 hydrogen is one and the oxygen is um, 16 so this does those are the mass number based on the periodic table so two times 12 is 24 6 times 1 is 6 and 1 times 16 is 16 so this will give us 46 grams per mole okay so 46 grams per mole so again mass to moles so the mass is 215.46 grams times 
the correct placement of unit is grams at the denominators for them to cancel out and mole at the numerator because this is the desired unit so for every one mole there are 46 grams so performing the operation the answer will be 4.68 moles okay so this is the answer now we would like to identify how many molecules of ethanol present so we all already found out the number of moles now we would like to convert this moles to molecules of ethanol okay in order for us to convert moles to molecules we will be needing the avogadro's number so 4.68 moles multiply by mole at the bottom for them to be cancelled out and molecules at the numerator okay in every one mole there are 6.02 times 10 raised to 23 okay so this will be 2.82 times 10 raised to 24 molecules of ethanol okay so imagine that we already found out the mass of ethanol and the moles of ethanol and already the number of moles of e molecules of ethanol so it turns out that the 750 ml of ethanol contains 2.82 times 10 raised to 24 molecules of ethanol okay uh, sorry that is 750 ml of that brandy okay so assuming that the sole carbon source in the brandy is only ethanol how many carbon atoms is present okay so we have the number of molecules okay the number of molecules is 2.82 times 10 raised to 24 molecules of ethanol so assuming that the only carbon atom present in the whole brandy will be coming from the ethanol okay and as we already knew in one molecule of ethanol we already knew that there are two atoms of carbon present so this is what the subscript tells us that there every one molecule of this ethanol there are two atoms of carbon present okay so one molecule at the bottom and two atoms of carbon at the top so cancel similar units the answer will be 5.64 times 10 raised to 24 atoms of carbon okay so this is the final answer